Hey guys, welcome back to some Stodge Bros with Del Troy and Marty's in the room, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're doing our first look at Smash. Uh, we're nearing the end of our series. We got some Robbie, ver Robbie, Robbie. <laughs> got some Robin versus <laughs> Kirby today. Uh, we got some just slam those names together. We're gonna be progressive. Play female redhead. Let's go. Uh, we're just gonna jump right in. Um, I said it before. Robin has a stupid mechanic. I don't like it. Just because it, it it does make you have to think about what you do, but I'm not a big fan. Uh, so Robin has this mechanic where when you use your abilities and your melees, they actually, like, eventually you drop your items. So you get to a point where you cannot use them. Because um, you only have so many charges. And you eventually become less effective as you do so. So I, I find that not not particularly favorable because you become weaker as the match goes on which is really questionable like why would you want a character that gets worse as the match goes on mm -hmm. uh, obviously once you die you reset and you get all your stuff back but I still find a stupid mechanic that is a bit questionable in a way like it, you know what I mean because it makes you less likely to want to play a character because like if you can't live Longer, you can't three stock someone. And if you can't three stock someone, why are you playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Like you can't scrub them. Right. Uh, Kirby uh, is, you know, a veteran of, of this series. Um, has the same moves and things like that. Um, seems a little bit more, I guess, aggressive. I, I don't know. I, I, I really do like um, going in with Kirby. Uh, definitely has some some punch to that side B. Yeah, they uh, they really Kirby is still a hard hitter even though he's pretty light. Oh, well, you got hair. Now I have hair. Look at me. Not progressive hair though. Hmm. I I find that very very interesting though. This is like one of the few characters that has a move that heals. Whoa. Quite well. Yeah, I think they called that the Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Yeah, because it's named after the the vampire. Um. So yeah. Uh, on the actual other note though. Uh, so, Robin is a good defensive character overall. She, he, whichever one. <laughs> she, he, the, the we. She, he. Uh, she, it's an interesting character because you have all these other options um, that become less available later. That still bothers me. But uh, they still feel good. Like, you have good spacing with your fireball. Um, you're, you got good ranged with your thunder move. Mm -hmm. Um, your air blade is not, it doesn't run out, which is good, because that means you won't be able to run out of air, like, your up aerials. And it also can hit people below you, so it, you can really think about how you want to use it. Uh, smashes are still strong. Aerial's still strong. Um, just this weird, weird style, like, I, they, they wanted to go cannon. So, uh, yeah, they did add this where you lose your tomes when you use yeah. them too often and yeah even though it might you know troy might not like it uh that doesn't mean that it's not good by any means but uh it, it's yeah. just a, i think with robin it just calls for maybe a different type of strategy you, you need to use your you gotta be precise. effectively yeah um i've i've seen robin uh in tournament before and uh her down b uh fireballs right uh, that, her side b uh Fireball is is really good for spacing uh, characters out because it's sort of like Ness's PK Fire, where uh, they do kind of get stuck um, in 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 the fire, uh, so that you can follow up and uh, do a corp, you know, uh, do a smash or perhaps you know uh, charge your uh, your neutral B move, which is very strong and uh, reaches you know across the stage. Yeah, like she does have options. It's just <laughs> when you run out of options, it. It's a weird thing. The, I do like the Nostratu. You regain a lot of health, and that's that can make a big difference. Not health. You, you gain what? What percentage? What you say that? Yeah. You get reduced percentage. So yeah. So Kirby, on the other hand, back to his roots, uh, has really sweet aerials. They really upped his power levels. He actually hits like a truck for a little pink ball. Yeah. Uh, like as you saw before, his uh, down a um, you know wrecked me. Wrecked you. It sent you upwards. That's a very interesting uh, thing. And I actually lived. Well, now I didn't. <laughs> but 
I live to 160%. I mean, that's pretty impressive, uh, considering Kirby is probably one of the lightest characters in this game. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so they really, like, I like his hammer because you can charge it up and move with it now. Uh, if you're good with it, it's a good finisher. Uh, and his aerial game is just as good as ever. So, I suggest for those that haven't played Kirby, get on, uh, like, or people that, veterans that have played Kirby, um, not like the, <laughs> the 12, like the, the youngers that used to do the little trick like that. Oh, wow! Oh, you're slashed down! Damn. Damn. Finally. I thought I got you there. Yeah. So, the, the, what, what he just tried to do, which was suck you and bring you to your death, um... It's one of those things where you're like, okay, you, that that style's gone. Uh, it doesn't work very well because you can escape it so easily. Mm -hmm. But Kirby does have the ability to gain a part of a mirror matchup. Because um, a lot of neutral Bs are very powerful in this game. There's only a few that I would not really want to get. Okay. Nothing wrong with having Robin's uh, charge lightning ability. Yeah, that charge shot, man. I was you, so happy when I got that. Yeah, because you can you can use that infinitely. You don't have to worry. There's no tome. Mm -hmm. You don't run out of hair. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for Kirby, he gets an infinite on it. Um, so it makes him a bit more versatile. His air game, though, is just majestic, right. to say the least. Um, so he's got a million small little hits, but they do a lot of damage. Um, mm -hmm. And he does have some back aerial finish, so... Yeah. And his smashes are nice. Yeah, and he seems like a good character. Uh, what do you think about Robin? Robin, uh, as I said, like, I do... I understand why they did it. It's not my favorite design choice. I'm not gonna say it's, like, the worst thing they could do, and it's not gonna make her unplayable by any means. But it does... You do have to think about what you're doing with the character. So, if you're a person that likes to spam your ranged abilities... Tough luck. Mm -hmm. But if you're someone that, you know, you charge up your shots, use them conservatively, and finish with it, it is still a good option to play with. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, what I think of Robin, I haven't really played Robin much at all, but I have seen Robin being played in tournaments, and uh, using those fireballs to space uh, your opponent out is key. Uh, to what to what you know people have been how people have been using uh, Robin as of late um, and yeah you know the charge shot is very good powerful move that you can hit from afar um, but yeah it's a very interesting mechanic that you have uh, with Robin with the tomes and things like that yeah um, so you do have to think about definitely it. not something you know from the get-go that you could uh, you know you could just get down and you know uh, beat your friends with yeah, something new experiment and uh, see, but oh but that, the the wind slash or the air blade or wind blade, whatever it's called, yeah. someone's gonna correct me. Well, is it the uppy? Yeah, it's the uppy. Let's just say it's your uppy. Um, you do have the ability to push your opponents down, so you can use it like a spike with a good range. So if you're very smart about it, you can't run out of that. So play with your grabs and do that. You can get some interesting moves going uh, mm. on that front. Cool. So uh, yeah, both feel good though. So yeah. see you guys next time for the uh, the great showdown of uh, it's Duck Hunt Dog versus Duck Hunt Dog <laughs> in our final iteration. See you guys next time.